Today, I'm going to show you how to make fluffy and creamy mashed potatoes perfectly every time. Welcome to Tessa's Kitchen. The first step is in choosing the right potato. You want to choose a starchy potato for mashed potatoes, like a russet or a Yukon gold. If you're making rustic potatoes, then a red potato or a basic white potato would do. Rinse and peel your potatoes and cut them into even chunks so they'll cook evenly. I cut mine into one inch pieces. Here I have about three pounds of russet potatoes. As you cut your potatoes, put them in a pan of cold salted water. I have about a half a teaspoon of salt in this water. If you leave the potatoes open to air, they will turn brown. Also, by starting out with cold water and bringing it to a boil will help the potatoes cook evenly. Bring the potatoes up to a boil and cook for about 20 to 25 minutes until you see the edges become soft and break off. You see, the edges are soft, and the potatoes are done, and I'm going to drain them. I put the potatoes in a strainer and drained off as much as the water as I could and put them back in the pan. I'm adding salt and pepper and about a tablespoon of butter. For my creamer, I'm using whole milk, and I took a cup and I heated it in the microwave for about 30 seconds to make it warm. You don't want to add cold cream or milk to your mashed potatoes. I'm going to add the milk slowly, about a half cup to start. Now the instrument or machine to use for mashing. You can use a hand masher, but that's not going to get you the creaminess that you want in mashed potatoes. You can also use an old-fashioned ricer. That is better. You can also use your KitchenAid, which I don't have one, so I'm using an electric hand mixer. That's what I used growing up. I'm going to start off on a slow speed, so I don't have potatoes on the ceiling and then I'm going to increase my speed gradually. See how fluffy they are? They're not quite the consistency I want yet, so I'm going to add another third cup of milk. And my secret ingredient, I'm going to add a quarter cup of sour cream. Sour cream that is at room temperature. Again, not cold.
You can get this recipe and more on my Facebook and Google Plus page. Remember to come and give me a visit. And that's the perfect mashed potatoes. Nice, light, and fluffy. And they taste delicious. And you can flavor them with herbs, like maybe some fresh parsley, chives, maybe even some rosemary, dill, or you can even add some cheese. Tonight I am serving with some slow cooker roast beef with mushrooms and carrots, and you can find that recipe on one of my videos. Making the perfect mashed potatoes is not hard at all. It is very easy, and I hope this video helped. Thank you for joining me in Tessa's Kitchen. And now the taste test. Mmm. Nice and creamy, that is comfort food to the max. Thanks for joining me here in Tessa's Kitchen. Remember to hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. You can also find me on Google Plus and Facebook. Until next time, enjoy.